This is not financial advice, not legal advice for entertainment educational purposes only. And anything I say is my opinion. Please don't make any financial decision based on anything I say in these videos. That being said, hit the like button, subscribe button, all that YouTube algorithm stuff so you get the videos I put them out. See them thinking, see them analyzing that data. Like I tell every day, the day they release us is false. It's going to give us a false narrative of the market so we can make bad trading decisions. Listen, by now, everyone has heard of the so-called glitch at Bank of America, Chase, and Wells Fargo, where a million, well, over a million people did not have access to their direct deposits, okay? These people could not access their funds. They could not pay bills. And the banks want to tell us or want us to believe that there was a glitch. There was a manual entry by a ACH employee that caused all these people not to get their money, not to be, not to have their money available to them, rather, not to have their money available to them. I believe that is absolute nonsense. Okay. And they're saying that an employee at ACH, the automatic, the automated rather clearinghouse, the ACH, he made some type of manual error. And because he made some type of manual error, millions of people did not have access to the direct deposits. Listen to me. You're talking about a system that pays millions of people every single day, that moves money every single day. You think they're not safeguards in place to protect against human error? I mean, who do they think they're talking to? I know they think we're dumb money, but we're not that dumb. We're not that dumb to think that they would have a system that's moving trillions of dollars every day that could be disrupted by one single keystroke, by a fat thumb keystroke. I mean, if they want us to believe that, I have a bridge in Brooklyn I will sell to them. Okay? It is absolutely crazy if they think that we believe that some human error caused millions of people not to have access to their money as far as i'm concerned and this is just my opinion i have no proof whatsoever this is just a theory they are running out of cash they're running out of liquidity they don't have any money they're scrambling to put the cash together Okay, and we and these are big dogs. These are not regional banks. These are not no credit unit. This is Bank of America. This is Chase. This is Wells Fargo. These are the big dogs on the block. And if they are scrambling for cash, scrambling for liquidity, imagine what's going on at the smaller banks that they just don't want to release us that information. As far as I'm concerned, all the banks are hanging on by their fingernails, and it just takes one strong win to knock them off that perch. And when that happens, no more liquidity for all the AMC shorters, and not even shorters, the naked shorters. No more liquidity for the AMC naked shorters. No more liquidity for the GME naked shorters. No more liquidity for the MUL naked shorters. And when that happens, AMC, GME, and all the other mem stocks should go to the moon. Anyway, please leave some comments. Tell me what you think. Do you think it was a manual error? Or do you think the banks are running out of money and they're scrambling to put cash together? Anyway, have a great day. God bless. And I appreciate y'all on this journey with me.